Go. Hello, my name is Ben, and today I'll be showing you my fixed blade knife collection. So, my first one is this. This is my second biggest regular, like, Bowie knife. Dulcerations. I got this from Cutlery Corner. Made in China. Made by Tack Assault. Um, and the handle. Oh, no. There's a little survival kit. Um, this is a 16 inch blade. Um, uh, my next knife is, um, this real stag handle made by L's Customs. It's a 14 inch blade, a real stag handle, and it's around $80. Um, I got this at a knife and gun show. Um, the next knife, it's basically, it's made by Cutlery Corner, but this is, um, the Tech Assault 2. I have a lot of them, I have two more after this, I think you know. Um, this had a paracord which fell off. Dulcerations. Um, my next one is this UST, um, paracord knife. I got it at Walmart for nine dollars. Comes with a flint rod which, oh! Was hit me in the face. Um, my next knife is what is this called? You had this when you were a kid. Yeah, that's my old fuck knife. It's all wobbly and old. This at one time was my biggest knife. Surprisingly, it's made in. Brazil. It's all wobbly. Um, how old would you say this is? Forty years. Forty years. And it's still around today. Um, next one is my Mossy Oak Country Bowie knife. Stag handle. Nice leather sheath. And it comes extremely sharp. This is probably one of my sharpest knives. It's called the Breakup. And it's an all one piece for durability. Very sharp. One of my favorite knives. Now this is the Buck. What is this called? The Buck what? Uh, it's just... It doesn't have a name. I don't know what it is. Um, very thick. Well, this is my sharpest knife. I got it for seventy dollars. Seventy-five. Um, extremely pointy. A nice sheath and all leather. Um, my next one is this little fillet knife. Wood handle, which is all cracked, destroyed. It was Pop Pops. It was? And then, does it have a built-in sharpener? Oh. Um, just the fillet knife. Nothing much about it. Um, my next one is this country knife set. Um, this one, there's another one that comes. Um, it's an all one piece knife. Um, uh, a handle that's made to look like camouflage. Has a gut hook. And then my one over here is this the straight tanto. These ones have built in sharpeners. Um, and they're twenty dollars at Walmart. Very nice knives. Um, my next knife 
is this Crappy Harbor Freight Machete. I got this for $9 at Harbor Freight. Very dull. Wobbly, all crappy. It's just not a good knife. It could have just been the one that I got, but not a very good knife. Very wobbly. This cracks all the time, and I always have to put it back together. Um, sheath, sheath, canvas. Oh, I got the same one. Um, next one is my Gerber. Gerber, yeah, my Gerber machete. It's my sharpest my machete that I have. Um, my sheath broke when I was carrying it. Sh very sharp. Um, 20 inch blade. Um, that's brilliant. Um, uh, my next knife is another one of these, um, tech, tech force. Um, this one actually has sharp serrations. Did I have four? Oh yeah, I gave one to my friend. Um, very sharp. I got this from Cutlery Corner. Um, pommel. Not much to say. It's basically those ones, just different blades. My next knife is my Smith & Wesson throwing knives. Which have no edge because they're professional throwing knives and they're meant to throw. My next knife is my biggest regular knife. It's this Walmart machete, but I, not a machete, just like a big, big knife. I got it at six dollars at Walmart, made from China. Um, plastic, pretty sharp, good knife. The next knife is this little snake eye. Remember, this used to be a huge knife to me. Mm -hmm. It has a survival kit in the handle. Wobbly, rubber bands are peeling off. Um, pretty sharp. It's a good knife. Um, the sheath broke again. My other knives are these cutlery corner dagger throwing knives. They're very pointy. They had um parrot cord, but when I was throwing them. Other, they hit each other and they ripped. Um, pretty good knives. Has a nice hole that you can put your finger in and lob it. Um, pretty nice. They're very brittle because one of them, I don't know which one, this one, the tip broke. Pretty nice. The next one is this Harbor Freight Bowie knife. Very sharp. Very sharp serrations. There's a little string and, and the handle. Um, there's a bunch of stuff. Um, matches and then there's a compass. So those are all my fixed blades for 2017 and I will make a new video of my folding knives next time. Bye.